lesson for today is all about cross-cultural co- Oh no! It's brownout! What are we going to do? Oh, it's a brown! <laughs> so let's continue. Okay, open Zoom link. Please let me in, sir. Let me in. Oh no! So that is the first barrier. The second barrier is someone is calling you outside. Tenten, I told you to stop that. Oh, no. Stop that, ikaw ang bari kita hinahanap, hinahanap mo. You're distracting me. Go outside, now. So that is the third barrier. You are distracted by your nephew because he's doing TikTok. Ano mo ang isa sa guitar legend ng parang nagbual? Nagbual na yun? Nagbual? Sorry. The fourth barrier is your family is watching TV outside, and it was so loud. Nagbual ng ay na. <laughs> the fifth barrier is your nephew and niece were keep on playing outside. They keep on saying, Habulin mo ko, habulin mo ko, dali dali ang mo. And that is keep on distracting me. <sighs> So, the last barrier that I encounter is the heavy rain. Not just because it keeps on distracting me because it's loud, 
but aside of that, it also caused low internet connection. So, I'm pretty sure that those barriers that I've encountered was also experienced by other students like you. As you can see, our teacher just dismissed us, so I decided to film again. And I need to answer the second important question, which is what kind of listening skill do I usually use and why? Well, I usually use therapeutic or emphatic listening because I believe that I myself is supportive, kind, and caring enough. I listen carefully without any judgment. Also, when I'm listening emphatically, I really keep my own emotions in check and do not, as in do not allow myself to be emotionally involved. I always keep in mind that understand first and evaluate later. So that's my answer. So for the last part of this vlog, I need to answer the third, the third important question which is what examples I can give when I use the different levels of communication. The first one, the intrapersonal level. A good example for that is when you are memorizing your script, especially when you have assigned tasks to um, play or to have a role play at school. And the second one is the interpersonal level. A good example for that is um, student-teacher conversation. For example, a teacher will discuss, or after the discussion of the teacher, he or she will ask for the student's feedback if he or she can understand or understands what the teacher um, just discuss. The third level of communication is the intra-group level. Um, example for that is your group chat. When you or your friends or your classmates created a group chat, group group chat, especially when you are assigned to do something and you will have brainstorming, you can't do it personally, so you will just create a group chat. And the second to the last um, level of communication is the organizational or the institutional level. Example of that is the conference in the Malacanang Palace, which will be consist of the senators and other leaders, and they will going to have a meeting or talk about um, different problems of the country. And last but not the least is the mass level. A good example of that is the commercial. For example, the commercial of milk products. Of course, that product will not even say something about that specific product, but it will only show the benefit that the child can get to their product. So, time check. It's already 5 p.m. And I'm so very hungry because I just finished that assigned task to us. So I think that's all for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from me. I hope I also answered the three important questions. So see you on the next vlog. Bye!